Samson, the Auditor General's special report on audit, as far as COVID is concerned, makes nonsense of anyone who says COVID is to blame for what happened to us. Even before COVID, we were already having challenges. Why? When COVID itself came as a disease, what were we being told? That persons with underlining conditions suffered more than those without underlining conditions. So if your economy had underlining situations, COVID, of course, will come and make your situation worse. The data shows that before COVID, Ghana was in a bad situation. Immediately, we exited the IMF program. That was an opportunity for them to do what they wanted and never invested these resources in appropriate areas. Of course, the funds that came in during the COVID period, the Auditor General's report, which the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament is even yet to interrogate, demonstrate clearly that the government did not invest right. They did not utilize the COVID funds appropriately. You actually we, say COVID was a blessing. Yes, because it gave us opportunity to raise money that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to raise. And Samson, I did that analysis indicating that if you lose your father, assuming I don't pay that anybody loses their father, and the funeral is conducted, and the funeral generates a lot of funds to you, than the cost of treating your dad and the conduct of the funeral. You cannot, five months later, come to tell me you are unable to pay rent because you've lost your dad. Especially if you got a million dollars Ex from exactly. the funeral. Exactly, you got a million dollars <laughs> from the funeral. So, and if you look at the Auditor General's report on COVID monies and how it was expended, this government have no excuse to blame that. Not too long ago, you see, they say, he who the gods want to kill, they first make mad. Not too long ago, our president was in Ukraine, doing what? Begging for help. The same Ukraine that you say is the reason for your problem. You are there begging them. I didn't pay attention to that, but did the president go to Ukraine to beg for help? Well, what was he there doing? Who, who, was who he, goes to Ukraine to beg for help at the Was time? he there, well, was he there to solve their problem? Was he there to solve their problem? The Russia-Ukraine that has been mentioned severally, which forced the Russian embassy in Ghana here to issue a statement and to give clear indication as to the trade arrangement between them and Ghana mm. and to indicate that Ghana should stop citing Russia-Ukraine activity as a reason for their problem. This usually do not happen. But something, it has happened under this government. Mm. You see, the whole debt deal, well, it's good that you have some kind of reprieve for servicing of interest and what have you. But like you rightly said, it's more like you are postponing the slap that you, you are supposed to take that inevitably you will take. But my biggest fear Samson, is how this government utilize funds that is available to it. You remember what Mills Mahama administration did when they got some funding, they invested in targeted areas. Example, one key example I'll give you, they are two gas. Before that investment, we used to spend over $300 million every year importing gas, if not more. But as a result of that investment, Ghana now saved that money and could be utilized in other areas. That is what we call positive and progressive investment that yield results. But when you have a government that takes your money and pay for Pualugu multipurpose dam, which is not done. Your 11.9 million goes waste in Palugu multipurpose dam, which is not done. And you are told that oh, it's for feasibility studies and what have you, when no structure exists there. Samson, when you have a government 
that takes your money and pay $2 million into a SkyTrain project that does not exist, that had no license, that the two sector ministers of that real development have clearly indicated they knew nothing about. When you have a government that pay contractors for no work done on the motorway, when you have a government that engage in such reckless expenditures, then you ask yourself, who do you blame? Look at bonds. At least but, two but, bonds. But, but at least.